So we've got the Acer Orion 3000 here, and uh, my one's slightly different for the one that's actually on the Acer website. So I'm just going through a few details and everything like that. It's saying we've obviously got Windows 10 Home, Intel Core i5-8400 processor, hexi-core CPU, two, clocked at 2.8 base, which definitely has got that in there, so I've checked it. But I haven't got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with six gigabytes of dedicated memory. I've got a 1050 Ti in there. But the memory is, a S, is an eight gigabyte DDR4 SD RAM, so that's definitely true. Um, but the storage is slightly different as well, saying a one terabyte hard disk drive with 128 SSD, whereas this is saying this has got Optane memory in it, which is 956, what's left over. So obviously this one has got Windows 10 um, Home on it. Um, it is a Core i5, it's 8400 as well, clocked at the base at 2.8 gigahertz, 64-bit processing memory, uh, processing as well uh, on there, and it has got a DVD rewriter on there, DVD, RAM, plus R and rewriter, so that means you can do your old school stuff and get your discs going through the front, so if I press the button, it comes out on the side like that, and you put it out, clip the disc into the side there, it starts spinning around, I don't even know why we even got that. Um, but we'll go through more on that computer anyway. But this is similar to what I've got, other than it's a different uh, hard drive and a different graphics card. But it has got a 500 watt power supply in there, and it does have, obviously have warranty if anything goes wrong, and they'll send you a new one or whatever, and that's all good, so that's not bad. But our adventure today is I'm downloading Fortnite on there at the moment, and I'm just gonna test it out on, um, I think this is 144 hertz monitor. Yeah, it's XL 2411P by BenQ Zowie. So I'm gonna play Fortnite on there, which can go up to 240 and um, see how well it plays, because it's a gaming machine, but it does other things as well. But let's talk about the aesthetics. So we've got this lovely blue display, well, lovely blue LED lights on the side there. And I'll just be honest with you, I don't know whether I can turn them off or not. I think you probably can through the bus, and I will have a look and check that out. Um, but yeah, as you see, there's a DVD uh, drive or rewrite one there. The power button's right here as well. You've got a Type C, and we've got a USB 3.1 right there. So that's good access for things that need to have data transfer speeds pretty quick. So, ID, you're going to get your phone and connect your pictures on there really quickly. You've got a microphone jack and headphone jack, and you've got a LED blue fan blowing or taking in cool air, I should say, at the front. And on the side is you've got the graphics card right at the bottom. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to take this off so I can show you inside as well. got a bracket here as well looks like it's a little filter the way it goes it's quite warm filters uh, the hot air at the graphics card to go out and then we've got normal SATA connector cables inside there and the cable management is pretty horrible in there I think this is an 80 mil fan in the front there and an 80 mil in the back it's a Zotec graphics card that's in there then we should have a 500 watt power supply here it's at the top and it's got like a little breathable fan up there and then obviously the disk drives there as well which is connected to the motherboard ah, and then we've got a, a mechanical hard drive so we've got a normal full size 3.5 inch these are what these screws are here then it's connected by eSATA power and eSATA connector data cable that goes in there as well four usb 2s and they're the black ones at the top there and then it's got two usb uh, 3.0s there and then it's got infinite connector which i've got it connected to lan then you've got um, a microphone jack, and then you've got a sound headphone jack or a normal desktop um, speaker system to go in there as well. We've got, uh, what's this one called again? A DVI, no, it's not called, yeah, DVI, and HDMI. You've got your little I.O. bracket on the back there saying Predator, but it's nothing major. It's a pretty compact little computer, to be honest with you. Right, so questions you were going to ask me before I'm going to even really talk about this computer now. Can it do VR? Yes, it can. It's very capable of VR. That's why we've got that port there as well to help with all of that sort of stuff. Uh, can it play the latest and greatest games? Yes, 1050 Ti will be able to do that. 
but it only has eight gigabytes of RAM in there. So you can upgrade the memory because there's four slots on there and there's only two RAM sticks taken up. As you can see, I've still got no screen. If I'm using another computer, I've noticed that I can see everything going on, but it just seems like it's like storing a little bit of like graphics here and there and that. Um, but I'm waiting for this to download and then it will be um, ready to go and then we'll test it and see what frame rates per second we're going to get. Anyway, it comes with a terabyte of storage, which is a decent enough to put your games on and all that sort of stuff. But when you're going to be playing, say you're going to be playing Fortnite and then you're going to leave CSGO to last, it's going to take longer for CSGO to boot up, depending on how big the game is and everything like that and how intense graphics it is. But other than that, I think the price is a thousand pound for uh, a 1060 version of this and obviously a terabyte hard drive and 128 gigabyte no 128 gigs yeah ssds um but this is just like a 1050 ti one terabyte optane drive and it's i don't know what the price is but i'm going to find it and leave it in the link description down below so we can find out what that is it also comes with eight gigabytes of memory and eight gigabytes of memory is the lowest of the low to obviously game with but technically do you need more than eight gigabytes of memory no so this feels really clean right now Woo! on 144 hertz nice let's get out of here i don't know where i'm going but whatever let's follow you dude There's no lag so far, this is good. Whew. Everything I think feels nice and smooth and crisp and quick. So far, <clears throat> really, really freaking smooth. It's good. Like it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is, I just literally, oh my God. I really got into the game so much that I, I nearly forgot where I was. So yeah, it is really, really freaking, it's not a bad computer. When it gets going, it's there. But um, let's go into the menu really quick when it's just uh, set up. When you literally put a computer on, this is what it will, this is what it will be on. So, that's what it'll be on. So quality, you've got low, medium, high, epic, auto. So it's saying it's going to be in the mid, in the middle for that, for the quality. And everything else, like uh, view distance, shadows, anti-aliasing, anti uh, textures, effects, post-processing, all perfectly right there. But technically, when you're gaming and you're being really competitive, you don't really want the game really on epic because it gives you all like the shading and all this sort of stuff, and you can't really pick people off as much as having the settings lower. It really doesn't make sense to me, and it never has made sense to me with gaming, like with uh, shoot 'em ups, but that's what it is. But technically, that's really good, straight in the box, and without and doing any overclocking or anything like that. And yes, you can overclock that, CP, uh, that graphics card and uh, you can't overclock the CPU because obviously it's an Intel CPU, but you can definitely overclock the graphics card a little bit and get a little bit more performance. Anyway, hope you liked it. There's a merch store down below if you want to check that out and that support the channel. Um, 
there's a lot of things going to be changed on the channel, so like literally subscribe if you're new to it. If you are new, hi, how you doing and all that. We do loads of things on the channel, like anything to do with computer components and uh, anything to do with gaming, software, uh, headphones, uh, cameras, everything like that. It's everything tech. Anyway, subscribe, share, like, follow me on all social media platforms, and I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching, Roger, and goddamn out. Enjoy your day.